turning to weather now and we had a little bit of everything today from sun to clouds to showers a live look outside now meteorologist Mary Kay Kleist is here taking us through a downward turn in the temperatures <laughs> just how cool will it be well you felt the front come through we hit 70 and then temperatures fell to 45 at the lakefront now we're on the cool side of this system and the problem is this front is forecast to just stall south of us keeping us on the cool side of it waves of rain sort of riding along that giving us passing shower chances right now we have 47 degrees winds are still cool off the lake out of the north northeast at 13 miles per hour so it's 44 still we've been steady downtown 45 Waukegan it's 50 in Aurora 46 degrees in Gary and 47 in Valparaiso little rain near Bloomington Peoria was wet too this is starting to slide to the east just south of Kankakee County the wider picture shows we have just some fine mist here showing up in northwest Indiana McHenry County heavier rain over Iowa. That's part of an upper level disturbance that's going to be pushing through tonight, enhancing our rain chances. Nothing hefty, but as that rain meets this cool air, there's a lot of instability across northern Illinois, so that's going to instigate those shower chances kind of passing here or there as temperatures dip into the low 40s for morning lows. So here's future cast through the night. There's 2 a.m. with some downpours around. It's 7 a.m., maybe some spotty drizzle, mostly cloudy during the day and a pass shower chance is certainly possible. Northeast winds at 14. That water temperature is only 53, so it will be cooler along Chicago's lakefront. Even up in Waukegan, your high only 49 degrees will be at 53 in Joliet. Our highest storm threat moves in Wednesday afternoon and again on Thursday. That's because the warm front will get closer to us. So tomorrow we're on the cool side of this with showers moving through. Then as we get into Wednesday, we're going to see storms line up there into parts of Missouri late Day thunderstorms are possible for us, but as the front crosses on Thursday, that perhaps looks to be our most active day. So very unsettled here for the next two to three days. I think by Thursday, the evening rush, that's when finally things dry out for us. At least it leaves us with a decent weekend, but just be ready for cool air tomorrow. Passing showers around, Brad and Erica. All right. Thank you, Mary Kay.